Hello, this is Jeff Kelly, and in this video, I want to talk about should somebody whose sole source of income is Social Security, should that person ever file bankruptcy? And the answer is, in most cases, no. Let me, let me run through that with you real quick. Let's say you have somebody who lives in a place where they're paying rent, not a mortgage, that's key, and they really don't have any assets that are worth more than you know five or six thousand dollars total. That is the type of person that really should not waste their time filing Chapter Seven. Let's talk about why. Well, um, Social Security is a protected stream of income. Your creditors cannot get it. You know, typically Chapter Sevens can cost you know twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars. In most cases, it's better to just save the money, ignore the creditors, get a uh, you know a, a new phone number if you have to. If you don't recognize the people that are calling you, don't answer the phone. It's just it's just better off not to file. Now, I will have some clients come in sometime that will say, "Look, I don't care. Here's the money. I, I'm gonna." I want to file Chapter 7 anyway. These people are driving me crazy. They're sending me letters. They're harassing me. Yeah, you can file if you want to do that. But there is a danger. Um, chapter 7 does have a risk. One of them that is kind of, I think is kind of scary is the 180-day the rule, which means that if you inherit any money or property within 180 days of filing your case, a Chapter 7 trustee could go after that money Whereas otherwise you you wouldn't be you know even in a bankruptcy. So um, as a general rule, I, I think it's best not to file if somebody has no assets. Their sole source of income is Social Security. I really don't want to put someone through the stress of it if it's something that we can avoid. Now let me change the facts around for somebody who might need to file. If you own a house and you've got equity. Let me just make up some numbers here. Let's say you have a house that's worth $100,000 and this person owes $80,000. Well, in Georgia, currently, as of uh, you know April 15th, 2020, today, you can exempt $21,500. These amounts are subject to change. Um, you know, periodically, the Georgia House and Senate will raise those limits. Um, so, you know, for somebody who has a house worth a hundred, they owe 80, they can exempt all of their equity. That person might want to consider filing a chapter seven because otherwise the creditors are going to sue. They're going to put liens on the house. Those liens are going to collect interest and they're going to eat up the equity. Now, Let's change the facts around a little bit more. Um, this situation happens where I'll have somebody come in and they might be getting you know $2,000 a month in Social Security. They have $50,000 in credit card debt and they've got a house that's paid for worth $100,000. Should that person file Chapter 7? Maybe not. Uh, you know, in, in, in that type of situation, there's a chance that a trustee is going to sell the house and they're going to take the proceeds from the house and they're going to pay off all the debts and they're going to pay whatever they owe for the exemption and, um, you know, give you what's left over when all is said and done. But the bottom line is you lose your house. So sometimes in those situations, the potential client will say, you know what, I'm I'm living in this house for the rest of my life till I die. Let the creditor sue me. Let them get their liens. Let them eat the equity or whatever. I, it's, it's too important for me. I can't risk losing my house. So, nothing in this video is legal advice as to you. If you want legal advice, take advantage of a free consultation. And we can go over your specific situation with your specific set of facts. These are just general, general guidelines. And, you know, we get a large number of people call who have, you know, sometimes less than a thousand dollars a month in social security. They have zero assets. They've got some debt and the creditors are driving them crazy. 
um, you know, as a general rule, I'm going to tell that person don't file. There are exceptions. Um, you know, another exception is when you have more than one source of income, Social Security plus, plus retirement. Um, you know, your money that sits in your 401k and your retirement is protected by law. Your creditors can't touch that. But when it's distributed and it goes into your checking account, that's when it could potentially become fair game. So again, if you've got questions, don't hesitate to call. We can go over it. Um, you can reach us at 770-881-8449. And you can also check out my website, www.kellycanhelp.com. You can download a free copy of a book that I have written on Chapter 13 and Chapter 7. And I've also got some podcasts on at kellybankruptcy.com. I uh, hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.